Hello, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> so basically, you may not know, I'm 26, somewhat considered a man, don't really know how. So I was born in the late 90s, absolutely adored anything to do with cartoons. So I'd be up early on the weekends watching shows like Wacky Races, Looney Tunes, Johnny Bravo, and then not to forget Scooby-Doo, the Scooby-Doo movies, and What's New Scooby-Doo, which is like the newer Scooby-Doo's. So the thing is with Scooby-Doo, you have a range of different series, characters, and like two Two live action movies to pick from so there's a lot and there was a lot for a 10 year old to catch up on and especially me i felt like i was proper like autistic so i proper wanted to watch them chronologically constantly it got me excited basically but we didn't have sky we, we we didn't have cable at the time so in the early 2000s i was obsessed with the series scooby-doo where are you which is the 1969 version the original we didn't have cable tv so when our mum would take us to see our friend we would well i would go straight on that couch chuck my shoes off slap on cartoon network and then try catch up on the episode of scooby-doo or whatever was on tv at the time so once lockdown came around i got bored and re-watched a bunch of old episodes so my favorite sort of movie one was scooby-doo and the loch ness monster scooby-doo and the cyber chase the ones of the witches as well the movie of the boo brothers and the bow regards that was a proper good i think that's an underrated one as well i don't think a lot of people watch that so specifically this series was from the 60s and created by john ruby and Ken Spears and it's produced by the well-known and loved Hanna-Barbera so then it was on CBS which aired on the network Saturday morning schedule starting on September 13th 1969 so I'm assuming you all know but we get introduced to the gang which is Shaggy, Scooby, Daphne, Fred and Velma aka the gang we sometimes have Scrappy Doo as my friend Freya says she hated him as well as me he's just a little annoying prick and then not forgetting the mystery machine as well okay so these characters became some of the most well-known characters well in the late 1900s i think they're the most well-known ones really so i'm simply making this video because i came across an older episode the other day and it reminded me of being carefree reminded me of just nostalgia really watching it all weekends eating sweets getting some sweets drinking hot chocolates and just watching scooby-doo for hours on end just knew others would have similar nostalgia simply due to the fact of how prominent scooby-doo has been for the last 60 years so on this with the episode in the background is there's two seasons this is season one it had 17 brilliant old school episodes filled of mystery 60 style jokes and a lot of shaggy and scooby running around it's where you sort of get velma finding her glasses where's my glass is, do you know what I mean? She does all that, which is annoying as fuck. So the audience actually first thought Fred and Daphne were always splitting up as well. So because they thought they were having sex. Do you know they always want to split up together? Definitely Fred. So with famous episodes such as What a Night for a Night with the Black Knight, Mind Your Business with the well-known Minor 49er, and the Clown Ghost in Bedlam in Big Top. These are three good episodes from series one. Well, in my opinion, well, I think it's one of those things. Once you re watch these episodes it really brings back a wave of nostalgia you get that gritty animation and then you get to see how it was done in that era it gives you that sense of era really and i've noticed there's a lot of shit on tv nowadays so i'm really grateful to have grown up with shows like these rather than what we have nowadays it's shit on tv now and you gotta pay so much money just to watch it really in these older episodes we find scooby-doo's real name is scoobert which is actually really cute and that scabby scabby and that shaggy and scooby obsessed with scooby snacks have a stomach bigger than their eyes which becomes a well-known train of theirs as well as that shaggy was somewhat originally styled over one of the members from the Beatles. It was sort of due to their popularity at the time. And then a fact you may not know as well, the crew, they look older, but they're actually the average age of 15 to 17. So when they get themselves into a lot of weird situations, they're actually proper young teens and they do always somewhat solve and fix the problem. So I did ask a few people what were their favourite characters or favourite movies. So first of all, my friend Freya said he hated Scrappy-Doo because he's a cunt. So do I. So my mate Ed, Edward Taylor, he enjoys, he likes Scooby and Shaggy as well, he likes especially Shaggy, he likes just, he's a typical stoner, he's sort of, how he's anxious, how he eats, his vulnerability, he fucking loves Shaggy, and then I asked my friend, who also makes YouTube videos, which I'll link here, which was her favourite, well, either episode or movie, and she's, she says, I love the time travel one with the electric scary dude and the gang go back in time, so I assume she means Cyber Chase, 
I assume she means cyber chase, but I could be wrong. I, 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 I don't know when I went back in time. But let me know down below what your favourite episode is. Or what your say, favourite era of Scooby-Doo, should I say. To me, it's just nostalgic. It made my childhood. And yeah, it's probably one of the best cartoon shows around. So let me know what you think. It's been your boy, Pid. Respect.